back again. I've got a few things I want to show you that I picked up from uh, Goodwill and eBay and Amazon. Um, so let's see, where do I start? I think I'll start with these. I stopped in our Goodwill shop the other day. I haven't been in there in a long, long time, like long before the whole quarantine thing. Um, and I found these set of cards and it says they are from, oh, they're copyrighted 1979. Um, looks like they were something you could get from current magazine back then. Um, but they are American wildlife note cards with the matching envelopes. And they're all here, all eight envelopes and all eight cards are here. Super cute for maybe doing a nature journal. And I don't know if I will ever do anything with him or not. He's, he's really cute. The grapevines there remind me, we had a little possum that used to come and uh, eat grapes off of our grapevine all the time, but I haven't seen him for a while. I haven't seen him this year at all. Anyway, all eight of them are here. And then there was another set of them that are the same with the matching envelopes. So I got, I got both of those sets. And like I said, I think they're from 1979-ish. Um, so I don't know if I'll do anything with them. I may put them in my Etsy shop and see if there's something you all want to do with them. But they're really cute. And they're, they're already kind of yellowed um, with age. Um, on their own although my lighting makes them look a little brighter than they are okay let me set those aside also while I was in Goodwill I found a um, slide projector ring and it was full of photos um, every single slot was full of photos I have some that I've already taken out here um, these were random ones that were like dogs and chickens and um, you know things like that, um, or like a tree. Um, but I thought it would be fun to use those that have like a dog in them, like this one, um, to take, take these and, um, you know, turn them into something else, like a slide specimen or, you know, just use them in my crafting now. However, the ones with the people in them, let me just find one. Oh, I know I already have one in the viewer. This one was of a little boy playing a bugle, and let me just, I can do this. Hang on. Here it comes. It's like going to be like magic. Uh, Ta-da. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Isn't he cute? Playing his little bugle there in front of the window. Um, and so anyway, I thought it would be kind of neat to... Um, take pictures of these slides because I can do that. What I just did to show you, I can take a picture with my phone and then I can maybe make like a um, Facebook post and maybe anybody in the area might know who they are. Now, I mean, they ended up in the Goodwill store, so it's quite possible that, you know, nobody wanted them, but I thought, well, you know, maybe, maybe they do. So I'll just show you one more. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I have to turn it the right way, which is the opposite of what I think it would be. Ah. I'm not very good at that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look, he's driving the tractor. Isn't that cute? Okay, Dawn. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was tricky. Okay, I'll set those aside. Anyway, I got the, there was a hundred slides in this um, slide reel and it was um, 99 cents. So I thought those would be fun to do some crafting with and a little detective work. See if anybody actually wants their slides back. Um, this is a book I purchased on eBay a while back because it is, has very pretty images in it. Um, this binding, the binding is a little bit loose, um, and I'm sure that's because of the type of binding um, that it is. They did the exposed, the exposed binding, um, which is cool. You know, it looks cool, but it, it doesn't stay tight long enough. Anyway, I'll open it up. Look at these end pages. Are those not gorgeous? 
And what it is, is it is a um, manuscript or a journal um, from this guy, Titian, uh, Titian Peel. Um, and apparently he did Butterflies of North America. And I don't know if it's dated. That, that must have been his journal there. Let's see. Album cover, Lepidoptera, larva, food plant, pupa, and etc. And it has his illustrations in it. I can zoom this out a little bit, but I, I want you to be able to see um, the details. And it's a facsimile of his, um, his book, his manuscript about butterflies. And I don't know that I will, you know, do anything with this book or, you know, I don't know that I'll tear it up or vandalize it, you know, I'm the book vandal, but I don't know that I will, you know, vandalize it in any way. Um, for one, it's my only copy of it. And if I purchase another one, then maybe, um, but it's just too pretty, um, to not enjoy. So are the Edith Holden books as well, but I have like 15 of those, so I don't feel too bad, but... Um, yeah, I may get another one just so I can play with, play with one and enjoy the other one. So anyway, very pretty book. Uh, it is now reprinted by the American Museum of Natural History. So if you are interested in purchasing it, keep in mind you cannot photocopy the pages just because the journal itself is old. Isn't that neat? You can take the cover and do that. Can't photocopy it. Um, same thing with the Edith Holden journal, even though she wrote that long, 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 long time ago, it's still in copyright. So I'm going to show you this one. This is the Janet Marsh Nature Diary. I'm sure you've probably seen this one. I also purchased this one on eBay. Um, however, hers is typed. Um, and I don't know if her original journal was typed or they just took her original journal and typed it up but the um, illustrations in it are very cute, kind of similar to um, Edith Holden in a way. Um, however, I, this is more, more modern. I can't remember what her date was. I'm trying to look here, see if it said what date she wrote her her journal, but I know it was not near as old as when Edith Holden wrote hers. Eh, I don't see. If I find out, I'll let you know below. But anyway, it's a neat, neat book, neat illustrations. And like the other one, I really don't have any plans to use this one um, right now because it is my only copy at the moment, but I thought maybe it'd be something you would enjoy taking a peek at. Okay, and one more thing to show you, um, and I know all of you or most of you have seen this around on Facebook posts and, and whatnot, so I wanted to just pop on here real quick and show you this. Um, I got it on Amazon. They were running a deal. It was a Prime special, and I per picked it up for like $7.99. Um, it is normally $24.99 is what it says on the back. I would never pay $25 for this book, but for $7.99, it wasn't a bad deal. This is about the size of the book, or my copy anyway. It's a little bit bigger than my hand, um, and it is a hardcover, so that's kind of cool. So once I use the stickers out of it, I could reuse the cover if I want to. The end pages are fabulous, um, so those can be reused as well. And what's really cool is on the back side, so these are stickers. But on the back side of every sticker page um, is a design, so it's not plain uh, white. So you know you could you could essentially reuse these papers too in your crafting. So you're not just using the stickers, but you can use the papers, and you can reuse the cover. So I don't use a lot of stickers in my crafting. Um, I don't know why. I just I don't have a lot, but. Anyway, there's some of them designs. So it's kind of neat. 
kind of neat, kind of neat just to flip through. And I don't, like I said, I don't use a lot of stickers, but I might start using some. I just thought it was, thought it was neat. And for $7.99, I couldn't beat the price. So maybe they'll run another Prime Special like that again. These are cool. That's a, that's a wreath of flowers. That's a sticker that you can peel off of there. Okay. All right. I will quit flipping through and yakking, but just wanted to share some of my recent finds with you and, um, yeah, hang out with you for a few. Okay. I'm going to let you go. I will speak to you all very, very soon. Um, hopefully have a tutorial out for you on using large papers. Okay. See you soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.